Go. Take a look at this stuff. It's waste. Do you know where this waste ends up after done sitting in a pile in this driveway? It ends up here, in a landfill. Do you want your precious blue marble to be covered in these? Do you want your home to be somewhere under this garbage? No, of course not. But this might be our future. If this year, everyone is expected to make 2.5 trillion pounds of waste combined. That means 175 pounds of waste for every human on Earth in only just three, in just 365 days. I'm Joey Ross, and I want to show you how sustainable building can solve this major waste problem. Remember that trash from before? That trash comes from building a house. Inside the, inside the pile of trash, you can see little bits of wood, screws, and you can even see the snacks the workers eat during breaks. All of this comes from building a house, and it, if it sits in this driveway in front of the house, it could blow into our streams and creeks, or take up space in a huge landfill like I showed before. To reduce waste, there are many different options of building houses. One way is by downsizing, and by downsizing, I mean turning this tiny little thing into a fully functional home. A tiny house is called an EXO, it's 72 square feet, but it can it has a lot of great features like locking doors, four lights, electric, electric, electric outlets, and many other cool features. Another cool sustainable home is a point source home, which is which has a solar array as shown in the picture that hooks up to everything in the house, including an electric car charger. It also has a rainwater cistern, which is not shown in the picture, but is on the side of the house. It has a rainwater cistern that collects the rainwater, filters it back into the house, and is pumped and ready to use. The one problem with point source homes is that it costs $161 per square foot, which, mean, which is $70 more than the Hill Country average which basically means it's $12,000 for a home the size of an EXO and half a million dollars for an average single family home. The solution to this problem is an, is an earth ship, which is made out of rubber tires from a landfill slash monstrosity like this. It in, included in the earth ship design is a solar panel like the point source home, including a rainwater cistern like the point source home so it uses renewable energy like that it also uses a it has a wind generator which also provides energy and it has two indoor greenhouses for growing your own food sold in some places around the world is permeable pavement an alternative to the regular driveways and streets you see every day it filters runoff puts it in a big underground cistern and filters it back into homes um, it filters it back into homes so that people can use it, unlike traditional pavements which, made run which make runoff dirty and unusable. People have been building sustainably for years. These are just modern ways to build. Back in the early 1700s, the Pueblo Indians used Adobe, not Adobe Flash Player, but Adobe, the building material made out of organic material, sand, clay, water, dirt, and other earth materials. It can build amazing structures like this. The Pueblo Indians probably didn't even know they were helping the earth because they didn't have the technologies to pollute the earth like we do today. Also, some people let nature do its thing and find logs and branches that were fallen in the woods. Just take a look at this amazing house built out of only, only branches that were found on the ground in the woods. During fifth grade, my class went to Greengate Farms for nine weeks of service learning and even they're doing sustainable building. A, a college student named Henry Wen, who's from UT, is building a chicken coop slash classroom out of bamboo and a couple of wooden screws. Uh, he told me that it was supposed to be that his goal was for it to be made of entirely bamboo, which is a fast-growing and renewable resource. I got the opportunity to work with Henry on the farm, and he told me a bunch of other cool facts, like how it's not supposed to have energy-consuming devices like lights or AC inside. Uh, it's supposed to be made out of only bamboo, like before, and the different bamboo that he gets comes from as far as Georgia, where the thick bamboo is harvested, and it comes as local as Austin, where skinny and tall bamboo is farmed. You don't have to be an engineer to reduce waste, though. You can recycle. You can redistribute waste, because, like the saying goes, one man's trash is another's treasure, and you can compost, which is basically turning organic material into soil. The lesson we learned today, we can reduce waste. We can make it so that we have enough resources for our children, our children's children, and their children too. 
we can build sustainably so that we can inspire others to so we inspire other people to build sustainably and the prices of building sustainable homes will go down and the ultimate goal is to have earth not be covered in landfills earth should not be a pile of trash thank you